God bless you all. Dave here with another video to encourage and uplift you and to give you better insight. So the question is, where are you? Well, where are you? What I'm really asking you is where is your heart? Last night I was in a meeting where one of the things we talked about is growth in the kingdom of God. A week earlier, I was in meetings around the world where people were asking, where is the kingdom of God? Think about that. That was the question. Where is the kingdom of God? Well, if you don't know where the kingdom of God is, then how can you consider growing in the kingdom of God? The stress of conflicts today is so great, often people lose sight of the movement of God and the expectations of what God is doing in all of our lives. While seeing the tears in people's eyes, I'm in a position to hear and listen firsthand to the tragic fear in the voices talking about the influences around them. The noise of confusion and despair of the world blocks our vision of God's kingdom and we lose sight of God's purpose in our lives. Globally, we are influenced by strong human emotions, propaganda, gossip, and conspiracy theories being posted, streamed, and broadcasted by the media and social media. The overload of information, be it good or bad, is just that. It's an overload. The human mind seems to grasp better the human emotions, the propaganda, the gossip, and the conspiracy theories. We're all wired to that. Spiritual growth is falling off track around the world. I'm witness to that. I see it when I speak to the nations. I hear it in their voices. I feel their emotions. We are accustomed to having our progress measured in many ways. We are given tests in school, evaluations at work, and physical examinations by our doctors. Yet we may never measure our spiritual or social growth. We lose sight of that. Think of this, as Jesus grew from an infant to a child to a youth to an adult, he increased in stature with God and men. The better people knew Jesus, the more they trusted him. They admired his wisdom and appreciated his compassion. Likewise, as Jesus grew in his relationship with his heavenly father, he continued to please him. The Apostle Paul said that when he was a new Christian, he behaved as a spiritual child. But as he matured in his faith, he began to act like a spiritual adult. Check out, excuse me, check out 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 13, verse 11. 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. And the scripture says, when I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. And that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 11. Now, there's nothing wrong with acting like a baby when you are an infant, but it is the obligation of every Christian to strive for maturity. Did you hear me say that? Strive for maturity. And we see that in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. I'll say that again, Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. And the scripture says, Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God. And that's in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. When you are a new believer, you will not always know how to relate to others in a spiritually mature way. It takes time to mature and develop. You may battle with envy, with anger, or unforgiveness. But the longer you walk with Christ and maintain a lifestyle of prayer and fasting, the more you should relate to other people as Jesus does you'll start to understand the biblical principles you read about in the Bible. People will start to see it in your behavior and the way that you speak. As you are conformed to the image of Jesus Christ, your heavenly father will become increasingly satisfied with your obedience to him as the father was with his son, Jesus. Again, it takes time. And it's an ongoing process. It's always an ongoing process. 
but it's worth the journey. It is helpful for you to measure the progress in your spiritual life from time to time. A good way to evaluate your spiritual growth is to ask mature Christians around you, fellowship, ask if your actions reveal spiritual maturity. It is imperative that you ask God in prayer to evaluate your spiritual maturity. God will teach you. You never become satisfied with less than a fully developed relationship with God. There's an ongoing spiritual growth, and that's okay. We are all a work in progress. At the Resurrection Center, a Bible-based understanding of who Jesus is comes from a doctrine God has ordained. The biblical principles and teachings put children of God into a spiritual leadership of their lives that help them contribute to their marriages, relationships, families, communities, and their jobs. Isn't that what we all want? Isn't it worth it? If it is, that is why God has to be in the center. We can do that as a nation. In 1984, former President Ronald Reagan is quoted as saying, if we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. And I leave you with that. From the Resurrection Center, my name is Dave.